lovely question i'm not going to solve this question algebraically M more than that i'm going to say look what's the toolkit for this fine how do we approach this question mod x plus mod y equal to one this is an interesting graph fine job mod x plus mod y equal to one whenever we're given questions with, with graphs and coordinate geometry like shapes mod x plus mod y equal to one the best way is to put x equal to one, zero find where mod y can be put x equal to zero y can be plus one or minus one talking about zero comma one zero comma minus one y equal to 0, 1 and minus 1. So mod x plus mod y equal to 1 is going to be a beautiful shape like this. Nice. Brilliant. So now sin x plus sin y equal to sin of x plus y. You need to think about that. I'm going to use the same approach and say, hey, sin x plus sin y equal to sin of x plus y. I'm going to put x equal to 0, see where it takes us, put x equal to 0, sin 0 is 0, sin y equal to sin y, x equal to 0 works. So, or in other words, sin x plus sin y equal to sin of x plus y, the entire y axis will count, entire x axis will count. If I put x equal to 0, any value of y, this will work. Put y equal to 0, any value of x, this will work. Or I can say, hey, this entire thing will work, entire thing will work for that. Nice. Then what do we do? We say, we have done x equal to 0, y equal to 0. We put x equal to y. Let's look at this and say, sin x plus sin x equal to sin of x plus x. So 2 sin x equal to sin 2x which is 2 sin x cos x. This will happen when x is 0 that is when sin x goes to 0 or otherwise we cancel this cos x equal to 1 again x is 0. This works when x is 0 obviously y is equal to 0 works again come back to the same solution if you put x equal to y you get x equal to 0 will work so 0 comma 0 works x equal to 0 works entirely y equal to 0 works entirely. What do we say? We say okay, then we put y equal to minus x. So sin x minus sin y equal to sin of x minus y. So sin x minus sin y or sin x minus sin x equal to sin of x minus x. Sin x minus sin x is 0. Sin of x minus x is sin 0 which is 0, y equal to minus x works or x plus y equal to 1, x plus y equal to 0 works, y equal to minus x works. I see, go back here, y plus x equal to 0, y equal to minus x, that is this line entirely works, it holds good. I'm going to sit and say, okay, what are the possible values that can come here? We say this point where y equal to minus x, this will be x is minus half, y is plus half, that will work. Here, plus half comma minus half, that will work. 1 comma 0 will work, minus 1 comma 0 will work, 0 comma 1 will work, 0 comma minus 1 will work. All of these will satisfy this condition and that condition. And so, if you put x equal to 0, we get a bunch of values of y. All values of y satisfy the first equation. Therefore, these two will work. If you put y equal to 0, all values of x work for the first equation. For second equation, these two work. Put x equal to y. Nothing works. For the only possible value is 0, 0. That we have already accounted for here. The, the, if you put y equal to minus x, sin x minus sin x equal sin of x minus x all values work so this entire line will work for that equation so where does it intersect here and here i have one two three four five six six points that work is there any other point that will work sin x plus sin y equals sin of x plus y sin x plus sin y i'll have to if you have to think about sin 1 by 2 plus sin 1 by 2 is it equal to sin 1 not the case sin half plus sin half is not equal to sin 1 no other value will work all of these will work simple rule of thumb 
put x equal to 0 see where what values of y can come y equal to 0 see what values of x can come y equal to x see what solutions we get when both are equal y equal to minus x see what values can come when both are equal solve both plug in for both of them get a sense of how the shape works so sin x plus sin y equal sin of x plus y entire y axis entire x axis x equal to minus y these three lines work right don't think anything else will work so all we have got to do is these three lines where do they intersect with mod x plus mod y equal to one these two points these two points these two points six points total absolutely delightful question not do this super rigorously we'll have to say okay i'm gonna put x equal to zero y equal to zero x equal to y y equal to minus x plug all of this see where we sit where we land that is a set of possibilities for us Gosh.